All right, guys, welcome back to another Rowing Inappropriately, otherwise known as Rowing in Inappropriate Places. We are running up to a mountaintop Jesus. With the videos lately, we have had people getting excited about what we're doing and wanting to jump in, so say hello to my cousin, Zach. How's it going? Zach is also a rower slash former rower. But yeah, we're going to figure out how to get up to this thing today. I'm unsure how that's gonna happen. We're gonna play it by ear and we'll see how it goes. Uh, it is up top there. You can't see it because now <laughs> conveniently the fog has rolled in. Maybe it's just a fun foggy run and we get to the top and there's nothing to see. So the workout today that you guys are gonna join in on uh, is going to be six rounds of 1,000 meter row broken up with you and a partner however you want, followed by 20 partner erg squats meaning one partner is going to be the back end, the other partner is going to be the front end, and you have to coordinate your squats together. So go find a friend, and uh, not to mention, wherever you do the workout, you have to run the machine there. So we got to run it up there. Once we get up there, six rounds, 1,000 meter row broken up with me and my partner, Zach, and uh, followed by 20 partner squats, and that's going to be the workout today. So, Zach's seeing white, happened, just hasn't you know. been running a lot lately. So, Zach's gonna jump in the car. <laughs> and, uh, and I'm gonna keep going. We'll see you guys at the top. Walking is definitely faster than running right now. And I have no shame in walking. We are up here, we're surrounded by fog. Um, it's okay, it's actually nice and cool this way with me and my partner, Zach, who may or may not survive. <laughs> that was the first half of the run. I'm gonna set this thing up on the monitor as a select workout, new workout, intervals, distance. Uh, I'm gonna choose the thousand meters and for my distance. And then for my rest time, I'm gonna use the PM5s undefined rest interval. What that means is that the machine is allowing me up to 10 minutes to do something else off the machine, and then I can come back, and when I'm ready, I'll just hit uh, continue to row. Let's get to it. Zach, you ready? The goal of all this is to have fun. Always make sure that you're enjoying the process. Are you enjoying the process right now? Of course. <laughs> I got 2.15 left for you. I don't think you can do it anymore. <laughs> well, not with that kind of attitude, you can't. So, my wife behind the camera, picking it up. Does that mean we're gonna squat together? Uh, sure. Yeah. Look at that form. He's back. And he does not feel good. All right guys, we just wrapped up six rounds, debrief. That was, that was actually I think the worst we've done yet. That hike was particularly steep, got real slow. We lost one along the way, uh, but we made it up to the big guy. Beautiful view. Beautiful view. Let's have me do it again. Thanks for joining us guys. Remember to <laughs> subscribe and share this video and join in, there's nothing better than having you guys jump in these workouts with us. I want you to leave in the comments below where you take your rower, the workouts that you do. Give us some inspiration and we'll bring it back right to you guys. So join us next time 
on inappropriate rowing with dark horse rowing. Guys, we'll see you later. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs>